For today's video, we're gonna try out some modded candy corns. These are very dangerous machines Gun. here and the upstairs workers A1 should not go anywhere near them. Yes, yes. But it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It would be the somebody... worst thing in the world. Hey, right, I got it, I got it. Only on the rarest of occasions no, would do I not go touch near it. it. There is no occasion for you to go near this stuff. And the reason we're reviewing it is because it's going to be added to the event store when it refreshes Friday night, and it'll most likely cost 1680 gold. Anyways, here's what the candy corn looks like. As you can tell, it has like a pumpkin on the side of it, and it also has some candy corns on the magazine. Okay, I am at full candy corn right now. And here's all of the possible perks that you could put on it. A couple things I should point out is that this is one of the few weapons that can drop items that heal you. The only element you'll be able to choose is physical. At most you can have up to three crit damage perks. But the perks we're going to use are fire damage, crit rating, physical damage, crit damage, damage, and it also causes affliction. And we may also try out the one that deals water damage as well as the regular candy corn. And we'll compare the damage numbers between the three. But the main one we're going to be using is this one that has two elements. And I actually got these a long time ago, so I don't really remember who gave them to me. And I don't know how they got elements on their candy corn. Anyways, while we test it, we're going to use Tactical Assault Sledgehammer as our commander. With the totally rocking out team perk. For our support team, we have Main Stage Quinn, Breakbeat Wildcat, Swamp Knight, Rescue Trooper Ramirez, and Crack Shot. And again, this is the loadout we're going to use while we test it. We will most likely switch up our loadout once we start the gameplay. And the mission we're going to do is this power level 132, evacuate the shelter. And we're also going to do a solo. Oh, oh, sh smasher. Damn it. All right, we're gonna try that again. So before we get to the gameplay, I do want to test it out. And first, we're gonna start off with this power level 132 smasher. All right, so we're definitely dealing fire damage, and I think the most damage we dealt right there was 120,000. I think, and it took us about 26 shots to kill the smasher with our double element candy corn. With our current loadout, it has a total of 100 rounds in the magazine, and it uses medium bullets. And it took us about 13 shots to kill the blaster. I mean, ah, I tried to sneak through the door, man. Can't make it. Can't make it. The shit's stuck. Out of my way, son. Door stuck. Door stuck. Please. I beg you. And when it comes to the taker, it took us about 10 or 11 shots to kill him. We're dead. So that's what our modded candy corn looks like against power level 132 miss monsters. Saddle up, boys! Turn that shit down, motherfucker! Turn it down, man! Don't make me say it again, man! Uh-uh, hold up! You messing with my truck! You messing with my truck! I also want to see what the double element candy corn looks like against the nature smasher since one of our elements still fire. Looks like we're dealing around 120,000 damage which is the same amount that we dealt against the physical enemies, which I didn't totally expect, but those are the results that we got when we tested it. And I guess I also want to compare the damage we dealt with our double element versus a regular candy corn. So now we're going to use a regular one and there are the perks that we have on it. And I think the most damage we dealt was around 140 to 150,000 damage which is more than we dealt with our double element. I think the most damage we dealt with our double element was around 120,000. So the regular candy corn's obviously gonna be better when it comes to physical enemies. Just wanted to show the difference in damage between the two. And since we have one that deals water damage, I also wanna try that one out. And we're gonna try it against this power level 132 fire smasher. And it took us about 23 shots to kill him. And I think the most damage we dealt with the water candy corn was 140,000, somewhere around there. So that's what our modded candy corns look like against power level 132 Miss Monsters. And the last thing I wanna do is show how much health you get from those healing candy pickups. And our modded ones didn't have that six perk so we're gonna go ahead and use our regular candy corn i first want to show how often it drops so in this room we got 12 enemies and let's go ahead and kill well first i guess let's take some damage 
So let's go ahead and kill him and see how many candy pickups we get. Oh, there's a couple right there. And is that all of them? Let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five. So we got about five candy pickups. Let's see how much we get after we pick one up. See, we're at 214 to 252. So that's like 38 to 290. So yeah, we get about 38,000 health with our current loadout. And it looked like they spawned almost 50% of the time because we got five out of 12 enemies. So maybe around 40%. Not a calculator, people. But yeah, that's what the healing pickups look like. All right, let's go ahead and start the mission. And I'm not even going to waste my ammo on these dudes. All you really have to do is just get close to the shelter. And I'm not sure which one we're going to use for the gameplay. It kind of depends on what element we get. All right, here we go, people. Oh, okay, we do have fire enemies on this one. So we're going to use our water uh, candy corn since we have fire enemies. Uh, we do have three defenders helping us out. And they're all using the regular physical element candy corn. So we're not going to be able to drop any candy for this one. Because our water candy corn has a different six perk. Matter of fact, I can't equip... Let's go ahead and equip the other one so we can drop some candy if we need to. Nope, we can't. Okay, I gave them all to my defenders. But we should be able to heal ourselves by either our adrenaline rush or from our totally rocking out. And I know not everybody has totally rocking out, but you can recruit uh, the rad heroes from the collection book. I know you get the regular rad heroes with Legendary Flux, and when I checked Dennis Jr., they showed me the option to get him with the hero voucher, so if you don't have Totally Rockin' Out or Rockin' Riff, you can recruit those heroes from the collection book. But I did go ahead and change my loadout a little bit. Uh, we switched Main Stage Quinn to Varsity Hero. Because I didn't think I was going to... Oh, uncle's down. I didn't think I was going to have enough time to go get sub wafers. I didn't even have enough time to get boost. So we're going to have to be careful. Let's see, there's no mini boss on this one. So let's go ahead and use our first slow field. So we can use it again later. But when it comes to the candy corn, even the regular version, I would definitely recommend getting it and maxing it out. It's one of my favorite LMGs. I think overall it's probably like a top three or maybe top four, depending on how you look at it when it comes to LMGs. And like I said earlier, it's one of the few weapons that can heal you. Only this one, Ginger Blaster. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, melee weapons that have life leech. These are the only weapons that can heal you in the game. There may be some other ones as well, but those are the only ones I can think of at the moment. So I would recommend getting it. Uh, you could increase the amount of health you get from these candies by using the... I think it's the underdog team perk. Because that increases the healing you get from all sources. But I kind of feel like since they drop so often, like look how many we have on the ground now. I kind of feel like since they drop so often, even though they don't heal as much as some other drops, uh, you kind of don't really need the underdog team perk. Should be able to fill up your health pretty easily without it. Another thing I really like about the candy corn is that you can put three crit damage perks on it. But yeah, I was kind of wondering, should we do a 144 candy corn or should we try to one of these modded candy corns and I don't know. I decided to go with modded this time, but let me know in the comments which one you all prefer. Would y'all rather see 144 gameplays or modded weapon gameplays? Because uh, with Frost Knight coming out, I noticed I got some modded fireball. Well, not fireball, fire snowball launchers. So we could try that out. Once Frost Knight comes available, or we could try a 144 regular snowball launcher. 
So let me know which one y'all prefer, 144s or modded weapons. And looks like everything's holding up pretty good so far. We didn't really add a whole lot of traps, just a couple wall launchers over here to slow them down. And we got some uh, wall launcher up there as well. We don't have any traps over here, so we're going to have to... Oh, I should have been paying attention. Hurry up and reload. It's probably one of the things I don't like about it. Reload feels a little slow. Good thing I put a sound wall trap there. Let's go and replace that. But yeah, we didn't really place a whole lot of traps on this side. Just some wall launchers over there as well. And nothing down here. I wanted to try to get as many kills with our candy corn as possible. I hate how you can't see them in the sound wall trap. Oh, another smasher. And I think our defenders are down. Let's go ahead and throw down another slow field. Get our defenders. Everybody's falling down. But yeah, we really didn't get a whole lot this week. I think this candy corn is the only thing we're getting this week, as a matter of fact. So not really sure what y'all would like us to do next. So I think we may just go ahead and try to stream some more Adventure Zones and level up in BR this weekend on Twitch. Like always, I'll leave a link to it in the description if you haven't followed already. But yeah, that'll do it for candy corn. Make sure you go get it, people. All right, so we got a level four loot chest with some survivor XP, pure drops of rain and gold. And we also completed one of our cram session quests. So we got some more XP from that. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.